Hey, what's up, folks? This is Ron Simplified Myers, uh, your uplifting life partner. I just wanted to come and do a quick video today. This is going to be out of my ordinary routine of doing uh, Relationship Thursday and Self Love Monday because uh, this is actually Tuesday, but it's a topic that I feel is very important and it has to do with um, your financial situation. Uh, I've seen a lot of situations recently where I'm watching things that uh, need to be addressed. I was in the financial service field for over 30 years, uh, for those of you that don't know that, uh, helping people with their finances, but I've been out of the field for a little, you know, for, for a few years, and so um, it's not really a topic, as you know, I've been talking more relationships and stuff, and I'm going to get more into getting back to talking about finances and stuff like that, but this one, um, you need, I, it just felt on my heart that I need to come out and do this video, and it has to do with, make sure your partner, knows everything that's going on in your financial situation even if whether they're handling uh, the finances or not um, it's amazing to me how many people keep their financial information from their partner one because maybe the partner doesn't want to know or two because they they have this secrecy or they don't trust their partner or whatever the case may be or they feel like because i'm the financial person that makes the money and i see this with guys a lot it's my money, I make the money, I control the money. Um, this is why you guys hear me get on that conversation when we're talking about submissive, uh, have a different perspective on that. Um, but the bottom line is, whatever the issue is that you believe you, you're hiding this information from your partner or you don't wanna give them the information, you need to make it accessible in terms of whether you have a safety box, um, you only have the key if that's something you feel you need to do, which to me, I tell people, if those are the things that's going on, you already have relationship issues. Um, but even if you feel you need to do that, you need to have everything set up to where if something happens to you, your partner has the key, the access to go get the information so that they can um, take over the finances. Because once you're gone, now they're in control of the finances. They should know what's going on. It shouldn't be a thing where they're left out in the dark and they're wondering what are our bills, what is not doing. First, make sure you have the life insurance in place um, because as we know that's the first thing that hits a lot of families. Losing a loved one is devastating enough. Uh, the last thing that you should be doing is worried about how you're gonna pay your bills or most importantly, how you're gonna even bury the person. Uh, make sure that you have life insurance, you have uh, the, uh, the right amount. Uh, you can figure that out, there's different ways and I'll, and I'll do uh, uh, classes on that and really teach that videos I should say and, and teach you how to figure that out uh, whether you should buy term whether you should buy whole life um, I mean a quick overview is any all life insurance is term um, what they do is they add a savings component to it and call whole life variable universal you bet your life whatever but the bottom line is all insurance is term if your agent ever bad mouths term they're either uneducated or they don't have a problem with misleading you because the insurance part of all policies is term. And I can get into that in more detail later. The question is not whether you should buy term or a cash value policy. The question is always gonna be whether you should save inside or outside of a policy. And I'm gonna always tell you, do it outside of a policy, never do it inside. Now, people that are financially wealthy, that becomes a whole different ball game. They use cash value policies to hide money. Oops. Okay, but that's a whole different conversation. But for the average person, majority of you that are watching these videos, you're never gonna have that issue. Um, so you should be buying the straight term. But anyway, I can get into that stuff later at a different time. I didn't really wanna start that here. The whole concept of this video was really saying, make sure your partner knows what's going on. Don't leave them in the dark. And if you're leaving them in the dark while you're here, don't leave them in the dark when, you're, when you leave give them access to where they they know the account numbers they know pass codes they know all the stuff that's going to need so that they can move forward um, i hope you love them enough to make sure that you don't want to leave them in the dark and stranded once you're here even if for whatever reason you don't want to give them that information while while you're alive at least make sure they have access to it and know who to pay who they owe and so that they can move forward instantly as if you were here. And again, you guys hear people talking about trust. That's the reason for setting up a, a, a living trust uh, so that it can talk for you as if you were alive. You can do that kind of stuff also, that's financial planning. But my main purpose again for this video is whatever you do, whatever uh, 
um, programs you put in place, whatever you do, just make sure your partner is informed either now while you're live or set it up to where if you do leave here, they have access to everything because there's nothing worse than as a surviving partner, and I've seen it happen a few times recently, where the partner is almost like a little kid and they're lost. They don't know who to pay, they don't know what to pay, they don't know what they owe, they don't know what's going on in their finances. Folks, that, that's, I don't even wanna, you know, get on people's case for that, but I just, that's, that's to be is, there's no explanation you can give for leaving your partner in that situation. Nothing at least that I'm going to listen to. You have to make sure that your partner is in a position to be able to move forward if you're not here. And again, that's the reason that I wanted to give this real quick because it was something that was on my heart because I'm watching it happen with a few people. And, it, and it's, not, it's, it's not a good thing to see, to see a partner feeling very vulnerable. It's one thing to lose you physically. It's another thing that they're vulnerable in terms of what are they going to do with the rest of their life. So again, make sure you're taking care of from a burial so they don't have that issue, and then make sure they're informed on what to do next to make sure that they can continue to move forward with you not being here. All right, and as you guys know, it ain't right, it ain't wrong. It is my opinion. Um, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Talk to you on Thursday on Relationship Thursday. Take care. Bye-bye.